What's good, everybody? I'm out here on the 28th of November, man. On the third day, man. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, man. Cutting down trees, raking leaves. Trying to make a little pocket change, that's all. I ain't asking for much, just a little pocket change. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 dollars, that's all. I ain't trying to be rich, I'm just trying to be decent. Some of y'all don't know what hard work is, man. I grew up doing hard work. Hard work. Put wood, landscaping. Anything that that dealt with cleaning the earth, that's what I did. My grandfather taught me a lot coming up. That's why my survival skills is off the chain. See this right here? <laughs> this is what a chainsaw is, man. Do y'all know anything about cutting, cutting logs, woods, trees? Some of y'all don't know what hard work is. Y'all think y'all do, but y'all don't, though. You got a car coming. I'd rather be doing this right here than robbing, stealing, killing. Street life? I've been there. I know what it's like. But after, after going to prison and getting out, man, I ain't trying to go back. <laughs> so if I got to cut, cut laws, wood, trees, cut grass, to make an honest living, that's what's going down. That's what I'ma do. I ain't trying to sell no dope. I ain't trying to rob old ladies. I respect my elders. I respect my elders. Always have and always will. My grandfather and my grandmother raised me well to have, to have fantastic morals. The morals has always been within me since I was a child up until the age I am right now. I'm out here sweating, but I don't got no worries, you feel me? The sun is out, it's a good day. And I feel good. I feel the good, I feel good about myself, about life. It feels good, man. Walking down the street, riding down the street in peace, knowing that nobody's looking for you, knowing, knowing that the police is not after you because you have some type of outstanding warrants. Just feels good, man. Anybody that's on my level that can identify, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have no pride, I don't have no shame in trying to make an honest living. I'm struggling, but I'm blessed. And everything that I want, I am going to work hard for. Even if it depends on me getting cramps, Fingers cut off. <laughs> Whatever type of injury, injuries that I am going to encounter, it's all right because I'm doing my best. You're not doing your best when you're not giving your all to trying to make a good living, a better living. 
I'm not judging anybody. I'm not condoning anybody for what they do to make a living. But I'm just saying what works for me. This is what works for me. I'm serious about this, bro. I'm serious about this, sis. I can't. I can't go back. The reason I can't go back. If I go back, I go back for life. Right now, I'm on a parole program for five years. If I mess up before that five-year expiration date take place, I'm back to prison for life. I ain't trying to go back there. I haven't left anything in the penitentiary. Everything I need is out here. Living, enjoying the weather, being able to walk down the street and see cars ride past you, being able to walk inside malls and restaurants. That's something I haven't did in a long time. So you know I'm enjoying myself. My body enjoy myself because no one else is going to enjoy myself for me. You feel me? Look at all this work out here, man, I'm doing, man. We get on my level, man. Come and cut some grass with me. Cut some trees with me. Write some leaves with me. Set aside your pride, man. Set aside your pride, man. You done tried everything else. After you done tried everything else, your next opportunity is to succeed. You done fail in every way a person can fail. Try something you haven't tried yet, and I guarantee you, you will like it. That's real talk right there. I guarantee you will like it. I'm going to tell you how I came up on this job right here that I'm doing right now. I was in Rocky Mountain. I saw a guy sitting in the church of Thorns Chapel in a gray pickup truck. Something told me to go to him and talk to him and ask for some work. I went and hollered at him. I told him a little bit about my life story. He gave me a chance. He said, son, I want you to come and work for me tomorrow. We're going to rake some leaves, pick some leaves up. And the day after that, we're going to cut a little trees. I said, I'm there. Give me the time, place, address, I'm there. I was so excited. You know how excited I was. <laughs> Somebody believed on me, believed in me in spite of my past. They didn't judge me. They had looked beyond my past and looked into my present. My present is the man that I am right now. I am somebody. I'm going to stay somebody. I bad because if I don't, it's back behind bars, and I ain't going back behind bars for anybody. Family. Friends, nobody, and I mean that. That's what on everything I stand for. If you love me and care about me, help me rise, help me succeed, help me go further in life. You feel me? Help me do that. Don't help bring me down, help bring me up. I'm gonna help bring you up. I'll probably be out here, man, to two or three o'clock. It don't even matter. I know I got a check coming. 
That's what you call getting that bag. You ain't getting that bag. You stealing, robbing, busting old ladies in the head to make a living. You ain't getting that bag. People work hard for their little change. Do you think it's all right to run up on them and take it? After they never work hard for it? Yeah. That ain't real. That ain't gangster. None whatsoever. You don't got to be a gangster man and doing all the right things and all the wrong things. You can be a gangster and doing all the right things. You a gangster man when you're trying to live positive and trying to affect somebody else's life. You a gangster. When you're taking care of your kids and you're doing it the right way. You a gangster when you're a family man. You're doing everything in your power the right way to, to keep a roof over your family head, to keep clothes and shoes on their back and feet. You're a gangster, man, when you pay bills. You a gangster when you take heed to people trying to tell you what's good for you. And your heart, you know they're telling the truth. But sometimes that pride can push truth away. Again, man. This is real work right here. This is real business right here. This is real money right here. You ain't getting the hard way. You ain't doing that. I'm about to get back to work, man. Anybody want to build with me, man? Come holler at me. Hit me up. 919-559-9242. Ain't hiding. Y'all be good, man. Have a nice rest of Saturday.